friends, it's Nancy, and I'm here to do a couple of things. So I'm doing a, working on a page for um, the book of pages that I've been working on. Uh, let me grab it for you. And so this is what the cover looks like. And I have... I think I have three, yep, I have three signatures done. With all kinds of things. I haven't worked on a page for this book for a little bit, so I thought, let's do this. And I recently saw this on in Instagram. And it was um, an image that was shared by the Paper Addiction um, boat in sometime in July. It was a project from Junk Journal July. And I thought, that is really cool looking. Uh, I'll share a link below. Um, I'm wondering how I can use that <clears throat> to make a smaller piece. Uh, like a journal card or a tag maybe, but I thought I'm going to make a page first. So I went through all my stamps and I pulled out all the ones that have, that are relatively the same size and um, have heads. Some of them are too big to use, like that one, that one's much bigger than the other ones. I mean, I could use it, just sort of center it differently. Maybe I will. That might add some interest. And the Spanish one, it, it does, it's too. That's a pretty color. Let's use that one next. So what I've done is, um, I know you're shocked that I haven't drawn <laughs> lines on the paper, but all I've done is evenly spaced out some lines using this piece of paper so I know and I'm going to match it to that line. And I'm just holding it down with a couple of these book weights. Um, I made these and there is instructions. I'll, I will, instructions for book weights. Let me write that down so I don't forget. Book weights. And these come in very handy and they're easy to make. Um, there's just a couple of um, huge washers in there. Okay, back to work. Um, ooh, there's a fun color. Some of these are very, very old. Um, I got mm, a lot of these recently when I was in Maine, Maine or Massachusetts at, um, at a flea market. I don't want to put brown and brown. Let's do an orange. So I had a huge freezer bag full of stamps. So I went through them yesterday and sorted them out. And, uh, That was an all day, <laughs> that was an all day trip. So I just sat on my bed and I had all these boxes around me and I watched um, programs on BritBox. I just started a new um, subscription to BritBox. I don't, I don't think I'm going to keep it. Oh, let's get a red one. I said red. <laughs> um, mainly I got it so I could watch um, the 13th season of Call the Midwife. Now I've seen it. So unless there's something startling. Okay. Now I know. 
I want to move the page down an inch and a quarter. But I mean, I could have done done these closer together. But it is what it is. Oh, let's get you going on here. So most of these are actually American stamps because they came from you guessed it, America. I thought I might um, do something a little different. Oh, see, this has got this little tear strip here. I left a tear strip there. I'm gonna leave this one here too, just to do something a little odd. I was thinking I might um, splash some paint on this over top of this. Oh, that's too close to that one. I don't want to tear these apart. <laughs> I should put them away before I... Oh, let's, let's get a blue one. Oh, there's an Australia. So that might be fun. Um, before you think, oh my gosh, I can't watch her glue down stamps for an hour. Don't worry, I'm not going to do anything more. I'm just going to finish this row and uh, we'll pause and go on to a different project. Can't torch you that way. That's Ben Franklin. Let's get another queen. Mm. That's a pretty purple. Now in the the image that um, the paper diction did, it looked like the background was dictionary. I didn't have a dictionary big enough. I know I have had a dictionary big enough, but um, who knows? Oh, I'm gonna do this green one. Okay, when you see me next, I will have finished this whole page. Okay, the next thing that I did was I um, did a line of stitching down the center of each stamp. And then I used my fabulous tool here to press those uh, bumps down. And now, let's see what we can do with a little bit of paint. So, I have, this is uh, just what I had, ultra matte acrylic paint from some old craft project. Maybe it's a, a silent, or silent, a solid lump. Nope. That's more than enough paint. Add a little water, and then I have a fan brush. Okay. 
Ooh, turn it around so we can do this side. I'm trying to put my arm around it just so nothing splashes. Okay, I'm going to get this really, really watery bit. Time to clean up this mess and, we'll, and then and let this dry and then we'll do something different on the other side. Now we're going to do something on this side. The first thing I want to do is reinforce this page and I'm just using this Scotch brand paper tape. You can get this at Target. From the little hangovers. Oop. Now the threads, um, I might trim them down a little shorter, but I'm not going to tie them off. They're not. They're not doing anything. They're not doing anything but hanging there. So on one side, I'm going to make a tuck spot, and on the other side, I'm going to make a tip out, maybe or. A side loading pocket not sure yet <clears throat> but I will need some scrap paper so I can do some inking the first thing I've got here is a, um, a business envelope that has security lining I'm gonna open that up I was just going to use a piece of hmm. I'm just going to do a tuck spot but I'm tempted to use that window no, let's not stop pants okay, so I'm just going to Tear that. Okay. And I'm going to square this up. Sorry, whacked the camera. I just thought I have some pieces of envelope that I saved yesterday. When I was taking the stamps off. If you're wondering how to take stamps off paper, Boil up a kettle of water, put them in a little dish like a, a casserole dish or something, or a pan of some kind, and uh, toss the stamps in, then use a fork to, until the water cools down sufficiently. Use a fork just to lift them out. Okay, I'm going to go grab those hunks of envelope. Okay, so I went ahead and inked this up. I went around the edge with the walnut stain and then dirtied up the top with antique linen. Here's 
here's the little bits and pieces that I saved. Um, so these have been in boiling water, so I could take the stamps off. But I liked, like this one says December 22nd, 1932, and I thought, hey, if I put a Christmas stamp there, that's going to be fantastic. Um, and I even saved these little bits of uh, lining from envelopes, from these old, old envelopes. Um, I'm not going to put that there. And then this has got some handwriting on it, so I'm going to take some handwriting. Like that. This is uh, from a postcard. Got the wrong one again. There it is. And I have these stamps. That this is a. Uh, This was torn off the front of an envelope. I'm going to take some of this off. Like that, then that, like that, I like that this has the grungy piece of tape on it. I think I'll use some art glitter glue because there's several chunky layers there and it's not very flat. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I have some that's cute. Too much.
much. I'm thinking about let's grab an envelope and I'm going to cut this slightly smaller I'm just cutting away one of the parts, either the front or the back, doesn't matter, and leave about half an inch. And then I'm going to put glue on this side, just to strengthen that a little bit. So I want to make sure that the corner fits down there. So I need to take a little smidge more off. And then put that there. Glue that on top. And then that will add a little extra strength. bottom corner. Yep. Bottom corner. to stitch along this edge so it looks like it's been sewn to the page. Just let me do that. Just pulling the threads to the same side. I'm going to put a little piece of tape over that so I don't need to tie a knot.
Love it. For some reason, I, I feel like fabric glue is really the idea, deal glue to use to put the pockets down, but it's just a crazy thought in my head. Um, it's probably not even true. Now, on this side, Could do like a tuck there, but I'm not gonna. Okay, I have a stained up airmail envelope, and I'm going to open that up. I thought I'd like to make a pocket. I'm not sure where I want to put it. I think I'm going to take that off. And to strengthen this, I'm going to put a piece of paper there. <clears throat> I can use anything. It was definitely vintage. I, I'm wondering if I tea dyed this or not, but I, I don't think I did, because otherwise all the flaps would be open. Who knows?
going to do that. This will flip open. This will be a pocket. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. We need some ink though. Oops. Aren't you glad that I <laughs> don't ink too much on camera? <laughs> it's so boring. I think I'm going to leave this side blank for journaling. Um, like that. This guy, I'm going to put here, and it can be used as a tuck spot. I'm just, uh, this is part of that envelope that I cut for the other tuck spot. I'm just going to trim it down a little bit and then I will put them on the edges so that it'll be easier to tuck things in that pocket.
Now remember this piece of paper on the back, nobody's gonna see. I do want to make sure it goes on straight though. What's under there? Oh, a pin. Pause there for a minute because Doug came in the back door and you just never know what Doug's going to do. So I drew a little line so that it was square with this edge of the page. Maybe just to decorate it a bit. <clears throat> this won't be a tuck spot, it'll just be flat. Let me clear away some stuff and we'll come back and um, I'll see how much time we've already absorbed. I'll come back and we can make a, a tag to go in here. Um, that's fine. We can make something to go there and something to slide in here. So let's, let's uh, take a look at what our options are. Mm -hmm. 